You know, a lot of energy, a lot of power. Like they generate power really quickly and really often. Um, I really enjoy working out with those guys. Though. They bring like really positive energy. They always like trying to help somebody. Like, yo, come on, stand up. We got you. Lean on me if you need it. Like something like that. And Kenny, he doesn't. Kenny doesn't talk much, but when he talks, it's something like he feels it needs to be said. Yeah, that's that's about it for now. We believe you guys' potential is, you know, for next season as a unit. We most definitely will be one of the most dominating D lines. We have to win. A lot of preseason magazines come out. I don't know if you read them or not, but a lot of them are comparing this year's team to the 2012 team, saying you know, strong offense. A lot of questions on defense. Do you guys take that personally when people are saying, you know, doubting your all's ability on the, on the field? We really don't pay much attention because we know what we can do. We know what we bring to the table. And we just try and use that as fuel to the fire to keep us going. A lot of, a lot of things about the, the changes with the defensive line. Obviously, the new faces, but you seem to think that it's going to be pretty good. Yes, sir, I feel like. The defensive line is really going to like spark the defense up a lot. Like, we're going to have energy. We're going to bring something new every play. How many players right now you see in the rotation? In the rotation, I can see nine. I would say nine, like eight. I see eight just rotating like back to oh, I can say nine. I can say nine. Just How important rotate. is that, in, in, especially in Big 12 play, to have that kind of rotation? Man, that breather is going to be lovely. I really, like, the first and second team really need that breather from, I don't want to say third team, because they, like, they're really good athletes. Like, they, if they were anywhere else, they'd probably be first and second team, too. But, like, the way it rotates is, like, the way Coach Saul sees it. So, I just like, you know, the energy that comes in behind me. Mentally, does that allow you to play harder, or the downs you're in there? Yes, it does. It actually gives me, like, I really don't have to worry about, like, when they come in on the field. Like, I come off and I'm like, who's behind? Oh, yeah, we good. I see what play coach calls. I'm like, yeah, he got it. I wouldn't even have to watch the play because I know they, they know, they're mentally sound. They know what's going on. So you say eight, nine deep. Who do you see in that rotation? I see me, Kenny, and either Reese or Jabril, and then Darius. I see Jeff Pooler. I see Stone Wolfley. I see Dante. Hmm. I can see some of the young guys. Maybe uh, James Mitter. I see him coming in a little bit. And probably Tyrese. We're gonna see what Tyrese want, want to do with it. Everybody's talked about the three-man line. How difficult is that three-man line compared to a four-man line? Mm, it's just less people in front. It's not too much harder. It's not hard really. As long as you keep your gap, it's not hard at all. Now pass rushing, that's a different thing. Like three on five, it's a, it's a struggle sometimes, but like it ain't nothing you've never done before. Though.